The next question that I always ask my guests, uh, what is, in your opinion, something that people don't know about your field of expertise? So your, uh, yeah. your, your, your um, forms of form of therapy, which is called soul freedom therapy, is that yeah. right? Yeah, I mean, I just call it soul freedom because it's easier than saying past life regression in a yeah. child therapy. And also the way I do it, my technique, I don't see, I wish more people would do it. And the reason I don't teach it as a therapy is because I can't teach somebody to be me. Yeah. I can teach you to use all the skills and gifts that I have by releasing your trauma from your past lives, from your inner child, from your ancestral, from the entities. And then I speak light language if you, people are aware with what light language is. When we start to do all that work, we're starting to unbraid the dormant DNA. We're starting to release the Akashic records, the past lives, the heavy energy of, you know, diary incarnate. And then your natural gifts are starting to emanate forth from you. And I think the other sort of misconception that people have is that they're going to do this once and they're going to be sorted like it's the magic wand whereas once you start committed to your inner journey work you will see this as the most worthwhile abundance that's going to come to you because your well-being and your health is everything and so from my perspective you know my primary thing is is health being able to heal ourselves you know i took myself off pharmaceutical drugs that i'd been on for 16 years after being mugged and strangled in this lifetime and i didn't want to be on thyroxine anymore and it had affected you know my thyroid so i did a lot of emotional inner work clearing the trauma that happened in this lifetime from being mugged and strangled and from past lives where my voice was silenced from my ancestral lineage where you know don't speak out, you know, be quiet. Um, so that's when you'll maybe see some of your ancestors also having issues with autoimmune issues. Also now we're waking up to, it's an integration of we've got to look at the diet, we've got to look at things we're doing. You know, the stress and anxiety is creating parasites and mold in our body as well. And the contributing factor to exacerbating these parasites and mold is stress and anxiety and the stress and anxiety is coming from the subconscious mind i mean sometimes it's conscious we're consciously aware we're fearful and we're stressed whereas life in itself isn't meant to be a fearful stressful process you know we're being sold stress by the media but you have a free will once you get your frequency to a certain level of awareness to either believe that or not believe it you know why would you believe something that's going to lower your vibration and make you sick and ill when you have an opportunity to increase your vibration and move into another dimension of reality it doesn't mean those realities aren't still existing it means you're not frequency compatible with those realities so you're existing in another frequency and that's upsetting for people because if they're still in a reality, say, where they think meeting eat is, eating meat's necessary to stay alive, you know, and they're like, where'd you get your protein from and all these things, you know, then their consciousness is in a lower level. So it sounds like I might be being formulaic, but it's like usually if you're still eating the animals, then you'll probably still be going to the allopathic doctor. You'll probably still think that if you get sick, that's the answer. You probably wouldn't be so desiring to go inside yourself. But as we're seeing more people going vegan, more people are starting to go inside themselves for the answers. They're starting to question mainstream medicine like do i really need these drugs do i really need to be cut open because you can cut something open and you can operate it on and you might have relief momentarily might even work for 10 or 20 years but if you haven't really dealt with the core emotional issue it's going to re-manifest itself 